Hey Diamonds, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Shein unboxing. Whether you pronounce it like Shein or Sheen, I don't know, but we all know what we're talking about at this point. They actually had a lot of really good things. It was really difficult to figure out like what I should get for this video. It was actually requested multiple times in the comments. So I got this pretty big bag filled with stuff. Um, I did open the, the top to make sure it was all the right things because I got multiple things from their website because I plan on making more than one video about them. So keep an eye out for those in the future. Yeah, I guess we'll just unbox it. I got a mix of like paintings and tools slash accessory type things. So the first thing I pulled out was an organizer. It has jewelry on the thing, but I feel like it's still perfect for drills. I mean, it looks really cute. It's like this pinkish color and yeah, organizer. We all need these. <laughs> um, Here's another organizer. I'm pretty sure I thought this was going to be bigger because my initial vision was to like put everything in. The pens should probably fit, but I don't think the trays will fit. So I just grabbed a few pens real quick, test it out and I'll just that fits pretty well. I think that's nice. Here, let's see if the tray actually fits. The boats don't fit. I mean, like, no, that's not gonna work. But I have room to grow my pen collection, so that'll be fun. All right, what is next? Oh, so I think I got a lot of ways to organize these in this. I don't know. There's just, there's always a need for organizers. So I got another organizer. This one has more little containers. It's not as cute as the pink one, but it does have more space. And I also got this. I don't foresee myself using all of these at once. Throughout looking at their website, I was getting like different types of inspiration on how I could organize everything. So I just kept getting more and more organizers, I think. And so I got this other organizer and I plan on, in my head, what I was gonna do is hang this on my wall and then I could have one pouch for like the drills maybe, like the, con the storage containers of drills, a whole pouch for pens, wax, like boats, like really anything diamond painting wise would be going in here. And I wasn't sure if it would be big enough to fit like actual paintings. I don't think it is big enough to fit actual paintings, but it's a good enough sized pouch. Like here's this storage container put it in here it's not as big as what i was thinking it would be but it's big enough to fit diamond painting materials what is next since we started with all the tools i feel like i want to finish with all the tools before i open the actual paintings i got actually there hasn't even been a tool yet it's all organizers i found the final two things that i got that were like tool slash organizer thing but i got these two little macaroons and what i plan on doing is shoving the wax, like a lot of my extra wax on the inside and just using this as like a single wax container instead of having like 50 wax squares. Don't know if it'll work that way, but that's just what I was picturing in my head when I purchased these. Kind of just looks like that. It's just empty. Technically it's intended for like a lip gloss, but let's see if I can grab some of my wax. I would just shove it all in here. So I would just like unwrap it like that and take the macaron and just shove it in there. That's my idea at least. Take another one, unwrap it, shove it in there and really just layer them all up. I won't make you guys watch me do all of the wax things because we have to get into our paintings and i'm actually really excited about these they had some really cool designs so i'm excited okay <laughs> um i actually got six of them which is quite a bit here are the paintings isn't that a lot 
Oh no, I dropped one. Yeah, this is the biggest unboxing I've ever done personally so far. All right, let's just start with this one because it was on top and the closest to me. Before I get really get into all of these, oh, I was about to say they're all 30 by 40, but that's a lie because this one's a 30 by 30. But besides that, these are all 30 by 40s, except for the 30 by 30, but I'll let you guys know when we open that one. <laughs> this is what that looks like. Um, I wasn't expecting this one to be the first one we open. I like it because it's like deep, you know, a meaningful diamond painting. And it came with very basic toolkit, um, no baggies, which is fine. And here are the drills. We'll just go do these like really quick because again, we have six paintings. Oh, and I just have to let you guys know before we get into the drills and the reviewing the paintings that this video has a sponsor. This video is sponsored by my wallet. So please like and subscribe so I can do more videos like this because my wallet cannot take much more. So, very long strand. So here are all of our drills. This is a round drill painting. And honestly, the drills don't really look so bad. They are not in bad shape at all. They could use some more cuts in my opinion. Like, a take to the yellow in the light. They're not like shiny, shiny. But they'll get the job done. There's like a few that are deformed. But not so many that it's going to ruin the whole painting. So I appreciate that. When seeing this online, I was not expecting there to be so many colors in it. But I was actually, I actually like how there's more colors in it. But So this piece has 27 colors. And it's supposed to look like that at the end. See, see what I mean? It doesn't look like it'll have that many colors. Here's our next painting, 30 by 40 again. We just kind of dump that out. Again, came with a very basic toolkit, no baggies or anything, and I feel like that's gonna be a common thread for all of these. And here is our painting. Here are the drills to our piece. Again, literally have like no cuts. Look how round those drills are. You can really see it right there. Just about like no cuts at all. Like how can a company be comfortable with giving out no cuts? They're smooth. So if you want a shiny piece, Sheen is not the place to go. You're better off with a wish if you want a shiny piece. But they do have some pretty nice colors. So I'll have to give them that. So this is our piece. So this is the scene from Peter Pan where, where Peter's taking, you know, Wendy and them. And it has 30 colors. And I've always loved Peter Pan. I think this is like, I think this will be pretty cute. I think the people are going to look funny though. Peter Pan literally looks like, like Cindy, Cindy Lou. She has like no legs. So that'll be interesting. But we'll see. So for our next one, same toolkit. Little wax, no baggies, green bow. You know where you love her. Um, again, 30 by 40. Let's take these drills out. These are packaged differently. I can already tell this from a different company too. Just by how it like feels and stuff like that. But these are packaged in baggies. So I guess you can say you did get baggies this time. And they actually have cuts. They have cuts. You see how it shines? We'll still look at these though. This one is a pretty simple and basic design. Um, I just think it'll be like cute to hang up somewhere. Pretty classic, basic. But the one thing that isn't basic is that I noticed that this canvas has some glitter on it. I'm not sure if you can see the glitter. Kind of has a lot, which is awesome. And when I was opening it, I noticed the glitter. And I was thinking that I hope they realized that the shine is supposed to go on the drills and not only the canvas, but they definitely remember the drills too. At least more than the other ones. They don't have the most cuts I've seen. 
but it's yeah it's better way better than those other ones but the unique thing about this piece is that it only has nine colors nine in this whole 30 by 40. i mean it definitely doesn't need many colors it's still super cute but i've never done a painting that had so little colors so i think this will be fun too it's gonna be a lot of color blocking just filling in those whole spaces and we all know that I love to just start with one color and finish it immediately. I do not want to hold on to all of the rest of the drills as I go square by square through the canvas. Oh my goodness. Guys, I, oh, I'll show you. Again, really standard toolkit again. Packaged really close to the same as all the other ones. And guys, this one is by far the funniest design that I saw on Shein. I don't know if I'm actually gonna hang this anywhere. Oh my gosh, it's so funny to me. But look, look at the face. It's so derpy. Oh my gosh. I think she's so funny. In this piece, we have a lot of like dark and neutral tones. Obviously, because it's like a human but nothing too bright or crazy. This is probably like the brightest color that we have. And again, like they, drills could really use more cuts. They're not impressing you whatsoever. The print on the canvas is really nice though. Look at those cues. Yeah, again, they have like little guide circles. Not enough to ruin your whole piece though once complete. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Oh, look at her little hands are crossing. <laughs> look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she is printed very nicely. There's not too many, like, I don't know. The, the canvas is not messed up. And over here, you have a lot of different colors in this small cluster. But you can easily tell that, like, where each one is supposed to go. Again, a lot of color blocking though. There's a lot of black here. And this one has 25 colors. All right, and moving on. After this painting, we have one more, unfortunately, but I'm sure that we'll get some more to unbox in the future. But again, same toolkit, no baggies, no, well, I wasn't gonna say no nothing, but it did come with something. Here's the pink pen, the wax, and the green bow. And again, this probably came from the same company as the one of the nine colors. Because these are packaged in individual baggies. Very nicely. Not very many cuts or anything, but I do like the colors. It's very, like, soft. This, again, is a very simple design. But I think it would really look nice on, like, a wall somewhere. And I'm trying to actually, like hang up some of these eventually, like nicely in a frame. And I feel like this one would just light up a room. Maybe like a kitchen. I don't know, there's no art in my kitchen. That's a lie, there is art in my kitchen, but not like this. So yeah, it's like a big sun and it's rays literally shine throughout the whole piece. 30 by 40 and it has 20 colors. Up there is what the fin finished product is supposed to look like. Um, they basically already look like the finished product. So I think this one will be pretty simple to do. Um, you can see that there are darker guide circles within this one. Um, and there's also some glitter on the canvas, which I always love. Um, it's very obvious where you're supposed to place them, which is good. And then here are our drills. Um, yeah, not very many cuts, but like I was mentioning, I really like the colors. And I feel like this is just gonna make the whole piece pop. Um, there's a ton of white, you can see. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of white. <laughs> I never actually flipped these over yet. But obviously because of that whole background, it's all white. So now we're on our last painting, but the toolkit's a little different. It actually came with baggies. Yay. 
This one is the 30 by 30. The drills are packaged like most of the ones we've gotten today. And this one, let me unroll it. It looks so tiny compared to the other ones because it's a square instead of a rectangle. Typically, I don't get many like squares. You know, do you, do you get a lot of square paintings? But nevertheless, it's very cute still. It's a little mountain range. I think this will also look like very cute. I don't really like know how to describe it, but Shein had a lot of like simple but modern paintings. But a lot of them are like little mountains or sun, little sun rays. I don't know, there were a lot of them though. It was actually really hard to pick. I mentioned that earlier, but they were all really cute. Like really cute. <laughs> So I could easily make another video in the future on them, but right now, let's just finish this one. Here are the drills for this piece. Some pretty packed bags. Of course, a lot of blues. There's a whole lot of blue in the piece. Um, and taking a closer look at some of the drills, again, not very many cuts. I do feel like this piece has a few more cuts in the drills than some of the other ones, of course, but nothing too eye-catching. Except some of the shades are, of blue are so pretty. There's a lot of different shades of blue here. Here is our little mountain range. I really love the gold trim along it. Um, I kind of wish the sky was a brighter color, but I feel like since it's this color, it's, the mountains are really going to pop. And I think that's what the artist was going for. But yeah, there's a little bit of glitter on the canvas. Of course, I have those guider circles. And this comes with 20 different colors. And that's the final product. Wait, I'm sorry, but look at how this is cut. So it's supposed to cut along the blue line. And it's a squiggle and it cuts into it and around the chopped corner. The, it, it's the phrase at the top of the canvas for me. This one's not even that sticky. And I realized I didn't check that about like all other ones. Okay, like it's not as sticky as it could be. But in like this wrap, it goes like, there's so much and it goes over the canvas. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny. That's all the items I had for today in the Shein unboxing. Let me know down below if you want to see more or if there's other websites you want to see more of. I know that you guys have mentioned Diamond Art Club before, um, AliExpress before, and let me know if there are any more. Cause I know there are a lot of sites out there that I haven't even heard of yet. I realized I forgot to give you guys an update on my injury. I was just too excited to unbox everything. So last video, I was in a cast because I fractured my ankle. And now I'm not in a cast anymore. Um, It's not even like really bruised anymore. It's still a little bit swollen. That's because I ripped my cast off. I'm supposed to find out on Wednesday if I'm technically allowed to get it removed or not. So next time you see me, I might be in a boot because I'm supposed to get upgraded to a boot after I was supposed to get my cast removed. But yeah, so the cast lasted three days and then I ripped it off with a lot of strength and willpower and a hammer. So that's that, that's that update. But we have a shout out for today and today's shout out is going to Shy Moon 18 We've actually commented that we should do this video a few times. And so if you have any suggestions too, make sure you leave that down below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you are subscribed for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.